Today I'm going to be baking my grandmother's anisette cookie recipe. Begin by sifting three cups of unbleached flour along with three tablespoons of baking powder and one teaspoon of salt into a large bowl. Once you've sifted that together, just set it aside. In another bowl, place three large eggs, along with three quarters cups of granulated sugar. Beat this together on low until the eggs turn a pale yellow color. This will take about three to four minutes. Once the eggs and sugar have turned to pale yellow, slowly begin adding in a half a cup of canola oil. Once you've added in all of the canola oil, continue beating the egg mixture for another two to three minutes. Then add in two to three teaspoons of anise extract. Using your hand mixer on low, begin adding the flour several tablespoons at a time. Continue adding the flour, scraping down the sides of the bowl. When the batter becomes too thick to use the mixer, begin to mix the batter using a spoon or spatula. Continue adding in the flour a little at a time until it forms a dough-like batter. You may have some leftover flour. If it gets too thick to manage with your spatula or spoon, go ahead and use your hand. Also stop adding in the flour once you see that the batter has become thick enough to roll. Pinch off a piece of the dough and roll it into the shape of a log about two inches long. Shape it into a spiral by rolling it around in a circle and tucking in the tip. and then place it onto a parchment lined baking sheet. You can also roll the dough into a curvy shape. Place your cookies apart on a parchment lined tray and then place it into a 350 degree oven and bake them for 12 to 15 minutes until the edges turn golden brown. When your cookies are done baking, you will see that the bottom and along the edges of your cookies have turned golden brown the tops will still look light. Move your cookies to a wire rack to completely cool before icing.
Make the icing by mixing two cups of confectioner's sugar with four to five tablespoons of milk and one teaspoon of anise extract. If you like, you can use vanilla extract instead. Once your cookies have completely cooled, begin dipping the tops of your cookies into the icing. Place them onto a wire rack and then sprinkle them with multicolored nonpareils and allow the icing to set. 